everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Carly from Beach Life Studio and today I really wanted to share how I've set up my custom homepage on my iPad. So I recently just did this and I really love how it's come out. So let's just jump straight into it. Firstly, this is the background I chose. I just got this off Google Images as a picture of a beach. I wanted it that kind of pink sunset sort of color. So I put that as my homepage and my screen lock as well. So let's start with this first widget here. I basically downloaded an app called MD Clock. So when you go into this, I've got the free version on everything on here, but there's no paid apps for this. So you don't need to pay for anything. Basically, this gives you a whole bunch of clocks to choose from at the bottom. Obviously, there's a lot of them that you have to upgrade for, but I just went for the most simple basic one that you get for free. So I don't know why it's coming up with this now. I think maybe you get one for free and then the rest from then on, you maybe you have to pay for the app. But basically, if you open up this app to start with, you can kind of just grab like one of the free clocks that I did. So basically to get it onto the home page, you just hold down onto the uh, page there. And then you go to this little plus button at the top. And then on here, you can actually find it. So it's just here, MD clock. So if you click that, this is where you can choose which one you want to present on the homepage. So I clicked on this one, the large one. You just click add widget and then it will go onto your homepage. You can actually drag these around if you um, tap and hold them so they can move around and everything. So to get this calendar then, there was an app that I got which was called Photo Widget, this one here. So basically when you open this app, you just go to calendar. On here you do have quite a few free ones that you can use, but let's pick this one for example. And then if I go to edit, here you can choose your style of calendar that you like. You can actually upload a photo, which is what I did. I put a background photo in myself that I just like got off Google Images. And you can actually choose like the border color, the font and all of that stuff. And you can just like choose to set it to start on Monday or have it as like it goes from Sunday to Saturday. So that's really good. And once you've got that, you can just press save. So I'm just gonna press down on screen, go to the plus button and then you wanna find photo widget. So this is where you can just add the widget. So I just chose this one and then clicked add widget. And if you tap and hold it, you can actually click on edit widget. And this is where you would choose your album. So if you go here, you've got like, this is the one I just had as the example that I just made, the Shining Valentine one. So as you can see, that's now changed to that one. So I'm just gonna go back and change it back. That's all I pretty much changed here was I just selected the album that I wanted. I think it was, no, actually I think it was this one. Yeah. So as you can see, I changed the text and the layout where I showed you in the edit in the settings area. So to create the GIFs then, I got another app called Widget Kid. So as you can see, these are the three that I've made so far. So if you just click the plus button, you can choose like which size you want. Just press confirm. And then here, all I did was I clicked on media and I basically, I got these GIFs from Google. So I was just Googling like cute coffee gif and all that. Then I would right click and save it to my iPad and then I would upload it. This was the first one I got, which I decided against afterwards because it's a bit small. So I found this one, basically I got the picture of the dog because it reminds me of Cookie. Actually looks just like Cookie. I thought it was pretty cute. So yeah, went for the little dog, a little heart because I love hearts. And I also went for a coffee and that because I'm always drinking coffee. Although I've got a tea today or because I've already had a coffee. <laughs> so yeah, and also I really love how cute my little koala mug is. I actually got this from England when I went to see family from Asda, if you're wondering. Anyway, next I've got a to-do list and I actually use the same app again, Photo Widget, to get this. So the to-do list is just up here on this top bit. And then basically just choose which one you want. I think they have a lot of nice designs. Some of them obviously look like they're premium, but I think a lot of them are really nice to use that are for free. So I'm just gonna click on this one for, ex for example, and you can just click edit. And here again, it's like you can change the style. So that has like a title at the top, that one hasn't. And you can add a photo behind, the background color, all of that kind of stuff. Down at the bottom here, you've got a little bit where it's got save my money. If you click that, this is where you can edit the to-do list. So if you just press the delete button, you can actually just press delete all. And then it gives you the little tick box ready. So like I could say, and then you press enter. 
have coffee, press enter, do drawing, like things like that. And then once you're done, you can just press done and then press save. And then you have to wait for the ad. <laughs> And then you can click away for the ad and then it's uh, saved. So, so again, to add it from fresh, you would just click and hold and then click the plus button, find the app and then add it onto your home screen. To edit the box, just click and hold, edit widget, and then you can select the album. So I've obviously got my own one, that's to to-do list. And then I've just made this one. So I can click that one, for example, so you can see it change. And now I've got that there. So to actually tick them off though, when you click them, it does open up the app. Then you have to come down to the bottom, click on that box, then tick the one that you've done, press done, press save. Now it's ticked on the box. This box here is a favorites box. It actually opens up into, into Notion. So if I clicked um, agenda, that will open up into Notion. Basically, I've just saved a few tabs here of like my favorites in Notion. So for example, if I wanted like my dashboard, up there, if it's something that I want to go to quite regularly and I want it on the home page, I can just cl click the three lines, the three dots, sorry, and then add to favorites. And now that's added to my favorites, it's added there in favorites. But basically to get this box, you just click the screen, go to the plus button and you actually just go to Notion. And then you can swipe across which one you want. I actually just chose this one, but there are some other sizes there as well. And then you just go add widget. To the home screen and then it will appear there for you and then this one is procreate so again you just do the same thing and you just find procreate and you can choose which size like picture you want add it to the home add the widget to the home screen and then it will add there for you so anytime whatever you're recently working on or whatever drawing it's opening on procreate that's the drawing that will show in there but it's really easy because like i use procreate all the time so it's nice to have it just there ready to click Sometimes it shows here, but like at the moment I've used other apps, so it's not there. So obviously it's just a really quick way to get into it. So that is pretty much it for my little home screen setup. I hope you'll want to stick around for more videos from my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.